What is going on guys, this is SJ Sports, welcome back to the final episode of League One. It's episode number 39, if you haven't seen any of your previous episodes, make sure you check out the playlist link in the description below. As always, starting off this episode then with a scouting report from England, uh, Alfonso Acuna brings us back a 69, O'Brien is a 79, uh, Ebanks Landel is a 77 and Lee Massey is a 74, we're going to reject all of them. So then, two games remain of the season. We win one of them, we go up, definitely. We could also potentially win the league. We've got Doncaster at home next. Starting lineup then is pretty much a strong side. Smiths is back from injury, he goes back into the side. And that is the only change from the side that lost against Coventry in the last episode. Let's go to goal news, make sure we turn on. Uh, we don't really want that on. We don't really want... Oh well, yeah, we do, we do want that on. Uh, and Rotherham United games. So Rotherham are playing Sheffield United and Gillingham are playing Preston. Well, it's very important that we don't lose this game now because we've lost this last game and we don't want to be going to the final game having to be chasing our tails and winning. We need to get the job done and dusted. If we win the league, it's a bonus, but obviously we'll be happy with the promotion. Rotherham are leading against Sheffield United. Kyle Bennett is Furman. Main through Tyson. Bamba's did enough to put him off, but he's given a penalty. I don't believe this. It was, it was late. It was a penalty, to be fair. He did go to block the shot. So it's a penalty to Doncaster Rovers. Come on, Chris Denson. Come on, Chris Denson. Let's all pray to the FIFA gods that he saves this. It's main against Chris Denson. He's doing everything he can to put him off. Chris Denson, it's main steps up. And I didn't even move. And he's been fooled into that and it's Doncaster that take the lead who haven't won a game in five games they're beating Cambridge though it's Cambridge nil Donny won lovely ball Christensen Lee Lee lays it off it's Colinius looking for key lover key lover oh what a save from the keeper go on Lee yeah he's getting that's the equalizer great play from Lee and that's why I like to play him up front because of his height it's Cambridge 1, Doncaster Rovers 1, and it was a good save from the keeper from Keelover. And then Lee with a rebound beats two defenders and the goalkeeper and heads us back on level terms. Right, let's take a look at half time. The Rotherham leading 1 0, and also Preston are leading 1 0 away at Gillingham. We need to get this job done. We need to get three points today. It's 1 1 at half time. Colinius with his free kick is going to have a dig. Oh my word, it wasn't far away at all. It had the keeper flat footed, just stood there. And had to admire it and hope for the best. Look how much the ball's moving in the air. And it's not... F Look how close that is. That's unreal. We've piled bodies forward and we're going to get caught. Tyson. We've got a man selected in the middle. Tyson looks across. Bamba's there. Heads away. Well done, Lee. Great challenge. Lee. Keelover. He's here. Keelover. 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 Yes! Great finish from Keelover. And we take the lead against Doncaster Rovers. And it only had to be one man, didn't it? It would have to be Keelover. Great finish. And it's Cambridge United 2, Doncaster Rovers 1. Tyson lays it off to Andrews. Smits is there. He'll get rid of it. Only as far as Bennett. Skips past one challenge. Here's Furman. Five added minutes, boys. We need to hold on. We need to hold on. We will... We're into the championship if we hold on. Guaranteed. Bamba. Brilliant athleticism from him. And it's cleared by Retamoso. And it's just coming back towards us. We have bodies behind the ball though. We've nearly got all 11 men. And look at that. It's Keelover that's working well. And we win possession. Retamoso will surely keep it. There goes the full-time whistle. And that is us definitely in the championship now regardless of what the points have done we've seen Rotherham and Preston it's finished Cambridge United 2 Doncaster Rovers 1 so there we go boys we have won League 1 we are heading to the championship we knew we was promoted but Rotherham are 4 points behind us and it is a slugfest for Rotherham United against Preston um, I, who would I feel that I wanted to go up probably Rotherham uh, because they've been in the top two for most of the season. Uh, we've got a final game to play though, boys, still. We've got Bradford City. I was going to sim this, but I thought, I can't. I've, Keelover has got 33 goals for us this season. And it would be amazing to see the trophy celebration with Keelover lifting the trophy. 
That is what we're going to do. Let's go. Through. Keelova onside. We know what could happen here. Keelova. We go for the cheeky chip. Oh, it hits the bar. Lee may turn it in. He won't. Oh, never mind. Keelova again. Oh, Keelova. Well played. Milgrew out wide. Ball played into the near post. Keelover was arriving. Meredith is in possession for Bradford City. Into Keelover. Keelover to Laura. Turn back to Keelover. Keelover. Fake shot. Oh, he wins it back though. Keelover. Keelover. That's it. 1 0. Easy peasy for Keelover. It's Bradford 0. Cambridge 1. And you can see Keelover's got the captain armband because we know what's coming up at the end of this game is the trophy lift. Little coming forward. Oh, he beats Christensen with a nice bit of skill moves. Lays it off inside to Dolan. Oh, and the Bradford have got themselves back in it. It's Bradford 1, Cambridge 1. And Bradford are definitely looking to spoil our party. It's a simple finish from the lad. We went to sleep at the back. And we concede. Bradford City 1, Cambridge United 1. Go on, Keelover. Oh, go on, Keelover. Oh, oh he's got it back, though. Keelover. Cuts inside, Keelover, bang that, oh, in for the near post, unlucky. Here come Bradford again, well done Baggy, oh, it's come back out to Meredith. Crossing to the back post, free header from Hanson, rattles the bar and it's in from Liddell. And they're definitely spoiling the party of Bradford City, it's 2-1 to them now. It's Meredith, into Clark, the space, we're all over the place this game. We just want to, we just want it into party. It's a back heel. Clark, it's 3 1. This could get embarrassing for us. We just have a, we just haven't played well. We, uh, we, the job's done that we needed to be done. And Bradford City lead by three goals to one. And it's going to be very difficult to come back from this now. Yes, Keelover. Go on, my son. Keelover. Oh, Lee. Yes, we got one back. Can we get back and win this game? We've got half an hour left. It's 3-2 now. Yes, Colinius. Colinius, what a ball. It's Lee for 3-3. Three, three. Lee! Oh, he's in the post. Comes out to Keelover on the volley. Oh, wow, we're enjoying ourselves out there today. Even if we are losing. Yes, yes, Keelover. This could be goal number 35. Is he going to get there? He is. Is he going to beat the defender? Keelover. Oh, unbelievable. That's unlucky. A good save from the goalkeeper. Christensen. Keelover onside. Keelover. Keelover. Oh, he tried to stop it past Carson. And it's another good save from him. Christensen. Lee. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Keelover. Yes. What a way to get goal number 35. And it's an equaliser. We were 3-1 down. We've brought it back to 3-3. The result doesn't really matter. But at least we're not going out with a loss. What a ball from Lee. And then one touch the same self. And then bang. In off the post. Keelover's goal 35 for the league. And it's Bradford City 3. Cambridge United 3. Keelover with a header to Lee. Keelover. Oh, Lee tackled him. Christensen. There it is, full-time whistle, we are league champions, and we was going to lose that game, but Keelover got goal number 35, pegged us right back into the game. We didn't lose, we didn't win, we drew 3-3, and Keelover will now get his hands on that trophy. We have been, it's been a fantastic season, boys. I just can't thank the players enough, they've done everything right, they deserve this, we was tipped for relegation, they've worked hard. They've given me everything. Even when we was in that blip, we still managed to get them all important points. And we just carried on. We took each game as it comes. And look at that, the trophy there. The second trophy for us. It's the second season. Back-to-back -back promotions as well. And there's no man other than Keelover that deserves to lift this trophy. It is a team game. But with 35 goals, he gets to lift the trophy. And what an absolute worldy play we've got on our hands here. There we go. We are the Football League. League One winners. We are the champions. And we fully deserve that. And this episode isn't going to finish here. We have also got May to look forward to. What an exciting, exciting episode it's been. And we lift it again.
Let's all pause now for a picture. There we go. There is confirmation. Football League One champions, Cambridge United. Let's take a look at the league table then, the final league table of League One. There it is, Cambridge, two points clear of Rotherham who ended up going up. It's Preston, Peterborough, Barnsley and MK Dons that make the playoffs. Let's see who got relegated. Gillingham, Portsmouth, Oldham Athletic and Doncaster Rovers as well. Right then, here we go. Let's take a look at our youth academy. Um, right, 78, not particularly great. 79, not particularly great. Another 79, not particularly great. Felix Bulu. 81 to 87, winger, here is our Scout Future star. He hasn't really turned into much of a star. If he's Scout Future star, I'd expect him to be in the 90s. Craig Batt is an 82 to a 94, that's more like it. Uh, Lamptey is a 73 to 79. Marcos, 75 to 70, 81. Juan Torres, 73 to 79. Maxi Gonzalez, 74 to 80. Uh, Palacios is a 71 to 77 goalkeeper. Uh, two guys, three 15-year-olds in the youth academy. Afenu is 70 to 82. Rostom is a 73 to 79. Algier is a 73 to 79. And Alvarez is a 70 to 86. Right then, let's have a look through some of these. Let's see who we can promote. I'm going to promote Gonzalez. I'm going to offer him a contract. Uh, three years at 500, yeah. So that's Gonzalez on his way. Um... Obviously, Felix Blow, we're also going to offer him a contract. Uh, Greg Batt, definitely, and without question, we're going to offer him a contract. Uh, Juan Marcus as well. Another winger. We've offered him a contract, haven't we? No, we'll offer him another. We'll offer him a contract. Let's get all the wingers in we possibly can. Uh, Torres, let's look at him. He's a winger, so in fact, we're going to release him. We're going to release Torres. Adebayo wants out of the youth academy. I'm going to sign him up anyway. Why not? Get some more players for squad depth. We don't want that situation where we have internationals, boys, where we can't afford to miss any games next season. We had to do it, I think it was this season. I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to get as many players in we can. He says he's a winger, but he looks like he can play a cam. Um, and he could do us a job. You know, looking at some of his 87 dribbling and stuff, he could do us a job. Right, so we've got Maxi Gonzalez, Juan Marcus, uh, Afenu, uh, Felix, I'm going to call him that because I'm not sure how to pronounce his second name, so we're going to call him Felix, Greg Batt, Ado, have all been promoted. So let's take a look at some of the youth players' ratings then. Batt is a 67, let's just have a look at some of his highlights, uh, his, well his attributes, as he looks okay from what I've seen of him so far, shot power 76, um, ah, problem, problem. One star weak foot, two star skill moves. But look at how many positions he can actually play. CDM, centre back, centre mid. And yes, we don't really need another guy to play left midfield. But he is six foot two, so that's always promising. And he doesn't have no specialities or traits. Uh, Gonzalez, left winger. Let's take a look at him. Um, pretty, pretty poor to be fair. He's a 59 overall. Hopefully he will improve. Um, not particularly good looking at them. It doesn't look that good. Uh, he has three star skill moves and two star weak foot. He's from Mexico. He can play cam centre mid or left mid, and he's five foot eleven. Felix Bulu then he is the main guy. Uh, three star skill moves, one star uh, weak foot, left mid, right mid, left wing, and centre mid. So he can play across midfield anywhere. To be fair, that's not bad. Uh, looking at some of his stats, looks all right. He's seventy two short pass. Uh, 72 dribbling, 72 crossing, quite good for a left mid, which we'd expect. Um, acceleration is 71, his sprint speed is 72, his agility is 66, but I have a feeling this guy will improve. A Fenu looking alright as well, just going to flick through. Three star weak foot, two star skill moves, can play centre mid, right back and centre back. Uh, Ado is a striker, well, centre forward, which is good. Um, he is a 59 overall, can play centre forward or cam. He's from Ghana. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Let's just take a look at some of his other stuff. Acceleration isn't great, sprint speed isn't great. Uh, maybe one to go out on loan, this guy. And Marcos, the left wing, left mid, is a 58 overall. Uh, ball control 72. Some of these may not even feature to be fair boys. They're not particularly great. Weak foot's two and his skill moves is two star. 
Scouting update then from England. Miguel, he's a 71 to a 91. We're going to have to sign this guy up. He's another fucking winger, though. So we'll sign him up. 69, Juan Torres. Mark Butterfield, 73. And an 18, Pablo Ayala at centre-back. We'll also reject him. So, this is SF... So, this episode is coming to an end, boys. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you give it a like. I will see you guys in the championship where we'll be looking to a free agent just to see what we can dip our toes into. I've been SGH Sports and I will see you all on my next video and goodbye.